Hi, in this video, we will see no argument constructor in Java. So this is one of the types in constructors. So we will see what is this no argument constructor. So we already saw this definition and theory, all these things in, in, the, in one of our videos called constructors in Java. So constructor with no arguments is known as no org constructor. The signature is same as default constructor. However, body can have any code unlike default constructor where the body of the constructor is empty. Okay. So we will see by taking an example. So I created no argument constructor here class. So inside this, let me take an example, the same way how we took for the default constructor int i string s. Okay. String s. So here we will create one constructor. How the constructor will should be so public no argument constructor. The same name, right? The rule is what constructor name should be same as class name. So with the help of this rule only, we'll come to know this is constructor. Okay. Public. You will not have a public void, something like this. So that is what we discussed. Why return type will not be there for constructor. Now I can in I can write something in this. Okay, I can write something. I is equals to 10. Yes is equals to what we can write. No argument constructor. Okay. So how you can access this information? So for this, I need to create an object. Okay. I need to create an object. No argument constructor is equals to new. No argument constructor. Normally, if it is a method, what we need to do in AC dot, we need to call that method. Right, something like this. But for the constructor, no need to call explicitly, right? The moment when you create, when you write this line, automatically constructor will get execute if you have constructor, okay? So I'm not calling any method, okay? So we'll try to execute this and we'll see. Sorry, we did not print that. So we need to print those. System dot out dot print ln i the same way. Yes. Okay. So I'm just I have written four lines of code inside the constructor to, to execute these four lines of code. I no need to call this method explicitly with the help of object. The moment when you create an object, an instance, so automatically it will get executed. You see that 10, no argument constructor. Okay. If you create one method, okay, it should be, so before that, we'll see, we'll try to put one return type public void. Okay. Still no issues. The reason is it is taking as a method not as a constructor. Okay. So instead of this, if you take public void as a just a method. Okay. And I have system dot out the print ln just a method. Okay. I want to call this method. I want to execute this method. So if I try to execute this, you see that? What is happening? Okay, previously also nothing happened. When the moment when you created this void, it became what? Normal method. Because of that, without calling this method, you cannot access, right? You cannot execute. So because of that, it did not. Similarly, I created one more public void method. So I want to print this one. You cannot print. The reason is if you want to print, you need to call this method using object nac dot method, right? 
So if you try to execute now, now it will print. So just a method. So difference between your constructor and method is this constructor will get execute the moment when you create an object. So the single line. But if you want to call this method and execute this method, you need to call explicitly with the help of this this object nac dot method. So that is the difference between constructor and method. And no argument constructor means you are not passing any arguments to this. This is empty. So but you have some body. Okay. So this is no argument constructor. Okay. So what could be the possible interview questions from here? So what is constructor? How many types of constructors are there? Can you tell me? No. Can you tell something about no argument constructors? So how it is helpful, right? So that's all in this video. Thank you.